morning, everyone. Uh, so happy to be here, the first act of day two. Uh, I hope you guys are not too tired. Hope some, you have some energy for today also. I heard that some of you had partied all, all the way to the morning. Uh, are those people sleeping still? I don't know. Uh, so happy to be here. Uh, I'm going to tell you about a um, product that's totally different from many others, journalism content. Uh, but before that, I tell you a little bit where I come from. I come from Alma Media, media company, as Mika said. And uh, uh, I guess uh, you Finns here know what, what Alma Media is, and, uh, and particularly our media brands like Kauppalehti and Iltalehti, they are very known here in Finland. But uh, not uh, many know that actually we are a very European company nowadays. Uh, one third of our per personnel works in Eastern Europe, particularly where we have a very good position in online recruiting uh, services. Um, I have been working in Alma Media almost seven years now. Uh, I have two jobs now. <laughs> Uh, I'm a marketing director for Alma Talent um, and also head of our new e-commerce development team. So very much doing uh, things with Frosmo, for example. I also have some academic pursuits. Um, I do PhD studies in Helsinki University. I research audience strategies in there. But then about selling news and online subscriptions. Uh, I, I guess we, you could say that uh, we have a slight problem. We have a product that nobody wants to pay for. Nobody wants to buy it. They want to use it, but not pay for it. Because everybody is very used to it, that all the content uh, digitally is free. All the news are free. So why pay for it? The figures are crushing. Uh, only 14% of Finns have paid for online news. That's the recent study. And 85% uh, of Finns say that it's unlikely, or even really unlikely, that they would ever pay for online news. So why do this? It's a bit of a pickle for us. Luckily, there are some people that pay for news already. Um, and usually when you look at the surveys, there are three uh, reasons why to uh, pay for the news online. They have to be unique. Of course, you don't want to sell something that the neighbor guy uh, gives out for free. It has to be something unique. You don't get anywhere else. And for example, if you think about breaking news, they are everywhere. But the analysis behind why this happened, or what does it mean, what are the consequences, uh, those are unique things that you might want to pay for. Another thing is brand and values. The brand and values the media holds. Um, if you think about news, news content, media, it's a, it's a lot about actually about social currency. It's something you talk about with your close ones. You talk about it with, with your co-workers, your family, your friends. And it's important that you know about things that interest you, but also that interest those people around you. So you have something to change opinions about. So that's why people tend to use medias that uh, carry the same values that they themselves have. And also the brand thing. They are very nice new media brands in the world, I have to say. But also we, traditional media brands, we have a very nice foothold in this chaotic digital word, world uh, if we can keep up with the relevance to our readers. So good brands are, they are, light in the darkness, I could say, in the digital world also. I don't know if you are surprised what the third thing is, because it's so trivial. It's good or for. So even though our product is very different, journalism content, it's very different, 
but there, still there is the power of good offer. I had a good offer, so I decided to subscribe. So that brings us to closer to any other online store. So uh, it's not an easy situation for the media to start uh, selling subscriptions on, uh, only for the digital content. It's a hard thing, but I think we are. this is a promise for us, a uh, promise of a better future after the decade of turmoil media companies have faced. So we are very serious about this, and we want to learn how to do this right. And it's a, it's a lot to do with the quality content that we are producing, producing, but it's also a lot about the online store and how we figured it out in our business. I have some very concrete examples what we have done with Frosmo uh, on our media sites. Um, we actually work very similarly uh, than any other online store. We have this basic sales funnel with reach and engagement and some sort of a commitment and then the sales, actual sales and then retention. And I'm going to tell you some examples what we have done uh, around this. First of all, reach. You might think that we don't have to go out and reach our audience at all because uh, almost all the Finns go to Alma Media media sites every week and most of them go there every day. So we have a big, huge audience here in Finland. But we are always uh, going after new audiences also. And we have used, for example, Frosmo segments to reach out for those that have already visited our sites. We know what they are interested about. So we go after them to, for example, social media. And tell there is something new on our site that you might be interested in. But much bigger part of our marketing is engagement. When we get the reader on our site, uh, we want to keep him or her there as long as possible, of course. We want him to read uh, more uh, stories uh, than he might come after for in the beginning. And here are some examples what we have done. Here you can see Arvo Vaperi's site. Uh, it's an investor media here in Finland. And here is one example what we are doing. Oops, go back. Here, here you can see this element, Lue uh, Seuravaksi, read more, uh, read next. And it's a dynamic element that we have in all our business and tech sites. And uh, it pops up when you reach the end of the article and recommends you uh, what you should read next. There are some recommendations based on what you have already read. And this has been a very good, good element. It's a very basic in a way, the normal uh, recommendations, but uh, it really makes readers to read more. Then something totally different. Uh, this is a long-form article test we made with Frosmo. Um, Long form is a very trending type of article nowadays in media uh, because media houses have noticed that readers are willing to read even longer stories online, even on mobile phones. You might have heard New York Times uh, Snowfall. That's a very, very nice piece. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but almost all the media companies are doing long form nowadays. So we wanted to find out what, what's the um, right layout for this kind of uh, uh, content. So we made an A-B test with Rosmo uh, with two pieces. Here's one for a very, very current movie here in Finland. Um, and um, here we tested uh, this. Um, another layout was our basic uh, layout in Talos Elämä. It's with all the ads and navigation and so on. And then we did this um, very cool one without no navigation, no ads, bigger pictures, very clean and nice. And we A-B tested the audience which one they like most. And this was a very good test because we were building up Talos Elämä site. Uh, we just launched it a couple of weeks ago and we uh, could use these, these quite simple test results of making it. 
here's the mobile version on the left and, and desktop version on the right. Uh, then something totally different. Uh, here you can see the red dot, small dot, and Oma Sivu uh, on the navigation. This is a totally new concept that we are just testing, testing, and we don't have any results yet. Um, Oma Sivu or my page is a very normal thing media houses have done for years, so it's a place where you can save articles to read them later. Uh, but we have made the concept totally new with Frosmo. Um, you can select, it opens up like this, uh, you can select themes uh, that you are interested in here. For example, these are what I have put there. And uh, the My Page collects all the news on those themes to one page. Here you can see some, some articles about those. And it doesn't end there. It actually collects uh, those articles from all our media sites, not just one brand, uh, but all. For example, here you are on Kauppalehti site, but here are Arvo Paperis uh, news about these themes. And we are starting the test with two or three media sites now and to see the results, but in the end we, we might end up that they are all Alma Media media sites and you can find in one place all the articles uh, about, for example, industry news or cars or whatever you are interested in. So something to keep the readers on our site for longer. And when we have the readers on our site uh, and they want to stay there, we would like to have some sort of a commitment with them. Uh, usually it's um, order our newsletter, have a trial subscription, for example, but we, of course we want to know who you are. Tell us your name, tell us your email address. That's a normal kind of a commitment. But we have done also something a little bit funnier, you could say. Uh, we have used Frosmo gamification tools uh, to make these different kinds of campaigns for commitment. Uh, for example, we had this uh, game where you get a prize if you share three pieces of news to social media from our site. So if, when you have shared three news, you get a free subscription. So here, kiitos and onnea, thank you, and congratulations. Here's your prize. Uh, something uh, a little bit even more funnier. We had an Easter egg hunt uh, last Easter week. And uh, I guess that's something totally different you would expect from a business media like Kauppalehti. So you could get, uh, collect Easter eggs among our news. And if you found uh, three eggs uh, among the news, you get a prize. And that was a free subscription. So once again, we got the name and email address and the reader got a free subscription. And this, this was very successful, I have to say. We got like 800 people to, uh, that found the eggs and we got the names and the free subscriptions were given. And I have to say it was also something that uh, I, I think it added a funnier edge to Kauppalehti brand also. So it was a, also a brand thing to do. Of course, then there are the sales, and we have done very normal stuff uh, to refine the sales funnel uh, on our site. I think uh, one year we did like 100 uh, layout tests uh, for the sales funnel, so we have tested a lot. But um, if you think about media sales funnel, it's even trickier than the normal online store, I think, because you are in the middle of reading news. You're doing something totally different, and you are not interested in getting up and getting your credit card uh, when you are reading the news. So we have to ha have the sales funnel even smoother than the other online stores. And here's something uh, we are testing next. Uh, to bring the whole sales funnel right next to the article 
So you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go to a separate uh, shopping cart or separate sales funnel. And of course, then there is the retention. Uh, um, I think this is the part we have to work uh, much closer next. Uh, all you Net Netflix watchers, you know that it's very nice to have the subscription when there's something nice on and, and you have the time to watch. But if that's not the case, you get, get uh, off the subscription. So that's the same problem with us. Uh, we have to remind the subscribers what, what nice and interesting stuff we have and what they can use. So this is something we have to work much more. And, well, everyone here knows that this is, this is really uh, not a destination, this is a road ahead, and we really need to keep up testing new ideas and refine the old ones and get better every day. I guess that's why we are all here, getting better every day. So thank you for having me. It was very nice to come here to your second day morning. <laughs>